Hey everybody, I want to welcome you to the mechanic shop. Today what we're looking at is how Google tracks you and you might not know it. And also all the things that Google tracks you on. There's a long list of what they track you on. These were the three that I noticed the most. The first one being location of the places you're at. Then it sends you suggestions about that place. Reading your Gmail emails and sending you a notification of bills or whatever it read in your email. This is the one that kind of irritated me the most was where your home is even if you've never put your address in. I'll explain this here in a second. Now please note, I never turned any of these things on. Auto update might have done it, but after a while I got tired of it and I turned them all off. The other thing that kind of irked me was when I used Google Maps, Google Maps would say, oh look, it looks like you stopped your time back to home is this. And I'm like, why is it giving me the option to go back home where I supposedly live? Which means they're tracking how long you stay at a place and that's what they call home for you. Which is interesting because I never set that up either. So here's how you shut all that stuff off. First off, what you wanna do is go into your Google folder. And this is an Android. You're gonna click on Google bring it up. Now these three little bars up here are how you're going to get to your customize section. Click on that, go to customize. Once you go to customize, you can see that all these topics are something that might be turned on. But I was getting notifications about things I didn't even sign up for. Right here we have weather, travel time, <laughs> and updates. We're all turned on, updates on traffic incidents. And you can go in here and you can view all the settings. But look at all these settings. Travel time to get home. That was turned on. And that was the one that I was trying to figure out. Why is it giving me a travel time to get home? But all these in here were turned on. And as you can see, I never put a home address in my preferences. But yet, it seemed to be tracking how long I am at a place at a certain time. And then that's what it calls home. And I'm guessing it's tracking it at night because they figure your home is where you sleep. So I went ahead and turned all that stuff off. But they have places. You click on this and it gives you notifications for places, which there isn't any extras under there. Bills gives you notification based on your Gmail. Read your Gmail. I got one of those and I was like, I never authorized them to read my email. Cooking, flights, parking, sources, travel, feed updates, etc., etc. All these were turned on. And I had to turn them off because I was like, uh, I don't really feel comfortable with Google reading my emails, which I'm sure they already do, but also saying, oh, hey, your travel update for your time home, which they were guessing wherever I was at for the longest, they turned that on and it was coming up in Google Maps. And I was like, why is this coming up with Google Maps when I didn't put in my home address or anything else? But right there, these are all the things that Google might be tracking you with. If you see a little thing come up and say, hey, we wanna let you know that we know you're at this location here. We wanna offer you this. Well, it's all in here. You gotta go in, customize your feed, hit done. And there you go. It updates your feed. But that's just a short video real quick on how Google tracks you and how you can shut a lot of that off. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us know if it doesn't bug you that Google tracks you all the time. Or if it does bug you, let us know that too. But once again, thanks for hanging out with us at the Mechanic Shop.